welcome back to my channel the travel all excellent so today i'm back with a new video with you and today's exciting video i'm going to tell you all about the life boat on board and as well as the life raft i'll be going to explain so keep watching my video and to subscribe my channel the travel all excellent so guys let's go and check out what is there in the life boat so let's go Right now we are in the Talcahuano, Chile and we are right now in the anchorage and still waiting to discharge our cargo. Let me show you the view here. Just see guys what a beautiful view here. This is Talcahuano, Chile and so many vessels are waiting here. We are also uh, waiting here. I think we will be uh, going uh, on 29th for discharging our remaining cargo. And from there we will again go to uh, Panama. Uh, we will uh, we will be crossing Panama and then we will go to uh, I think Houston or somewhere in the US. So guys, this is the live boat we have. We have side lowering live boat, and uh, this is the master area, which I have already explained you in one of my videos. This is the master area, and we have one live boat here. You can see one live boat and one more in the other side. So guys, generally in merchant ship, there are two types of live boat we use. One is side lowering and other is free fall live boat. So the live boat which we have on board, you can see that is you can see in the background that is uh, side lowering live boat and uh, there is one more type live boat we usually use in the merchant ships that is free fall live boat. So we don't have free fall live boats. We have uh, the side lowering. So, if your ship having side lowering live boat, so there must be two live boat, and uh, one of which will be dedicated for rescue boat as well. So, let's go and check out what is there inside the uh, our live boat. So, let's go, guys. So, this is the live boat station we have this side. And this is the live board on the starboard side and in the other side we have live board which is also a dedicated rescue board. Let me show you. This is the starboard side live board and one more on the port side. And this is the muster area for the live board station. And this one is the ladder through which we uh, board the live board. And in previous uh, video I have explained you all this. Uh, instructions in every ship you will find this instruction near the master station like how to uh, board the live boat and what all pre uh, what all process to do so in every master station you will find this thing all the instructions so that nobody will be lost uh, in case actual scenario we need to uh, put the live boat so and uh, these are the life rafts we have two life rafts here and two on the other side. So guys, let's go to the life boat inside and let's check out what is there inside the life boat. So guys, this is our life boat we have, life boat number one. And this is the life boat station. This is the half part of the life boat. And uh, this is the forward part of the live boat you can see so live boat is very equipped, uh, very important on board if there is any distress situation and we have to leave the uh, ship then only this live boat will save us so this is a very important uh, piece of equipment and everybody should know how to lower the live boat and all the equipment inside also the number of people uh, who can serve in the uh, ship that is also decided by live boat capacity only so our ship live boat capacity is 30, so only 30 people can sail in this ship. No more than 30 people are allowed uh, on board at any time when the ship is sailing. So this is a very important piece of equipment 
let's go and check out first uh, how to lower the light board uh, the process of lowering the light board so guys let's go so guys this is the david launching light board we have so these two boons are connected with this uh, this shivel and there is one connection here and also this power part also there is a connection here so and this these are the davits this boom we you can see the, these are the davits and these are connected here these are called harbor pin we need to remove this one when we have to lower the light board also we have one harbor pin here also this side so we need to uh, whenever we need to lower this we need to remove this uh, harbor pin so guys let me explain you one by one the procedure to lower the light board first so so in the light board we have a connection of battery connection you can see this this is a battery connection uh, for the light board so inside battery is charging through this cable so first we need to come here and open this uh, connection we have to remove this connection then and check this harbor pin we have to remove this uh, this safety pin on the both side here also one safety pin this one we need to first remove the safety pin and up, these are called harbor pin and after that when we get instruction we need to pull this one this lever just pull it so that there is a connection here it will also move this is a lashing so it will remove by pulling this one see here also we have the same thing lashing here and this harbor pin we need to remove and after this we need to go to the down part of the david uh, let's go guys so we need to come here this is the actual david and uh, we need to remove this this pin this is the this is the bar through which we will lower the light board so we need to remove this pin and after this we need to check make sure that this lashing to be removed there is one lashing here see which is connected to the harbor pin so we need to remove this lashing make sure that this lashing is removed and after this when we get a uh, green signal from the captain that we need to lower the light board we need to just lift this bar just lift this bar to the up and the light board will automatically come down this is the light board and it will automatically come down due to gravity before this we need to rig this ladder also this is the ladder through which we will go down so we need to rig the ladder you can see there is a place to rig the ladder also so after rigging this ladder we will just lift uh, this bar to up and the light board light board will come down this light board will come down to this embarkation level and by using this ladder we will go to the light board and for picking this light board up again if we require to pick it up again there is one motor connection see the control switch box for the light board so there is a motor inside uh, inside there is a motor just uh, switch on the motor and just heave there is a button inside to heave just heave it and it will start coming up and if it is not working suppose this motor is not working there is a handle here you can see one handle just you need to put this handle to here and you have to rotate it so manually also we can pick this live board and then we have to store it back and lash it again all the lashing wires like this one this one and the harbor pin everything will be secure the harbor pin the lashing wire everything will be secure after picking this so guys i have explained you how to lower the light board so this is the procedure for lowering the light board and now i am going to show you what is there inside the light board so let's go guys and check out what is there inside so let's go so guys i am now again back to the light board station uh, this is one door to go inside and one more door for entries here so now we'll going we, we will go inside 
I'll show you what is there inside. So guys, this is how the light board looks inside. Just look at it. So these are the buckles, like a safety belt for uh, for both uh, for everybody who, who are entering inside. And the seat number is also mentioned here. See, 28, 29, 11, 13, 15. So everybody knows their seat number. So we have to come whenever there is a drill or we need to abandon. We need to come here and come to our dedicated uh, live board seat. So these are the seats here. And uh, this is the like battery switch. This is for the sprinkler. This is for the steering of the live board. This is the steering. This is the handle to make it ahead or astern the engine. So this is how, this is how the live board looks inside. Enclosed live board, side loading. So guys, if you like this video, do consider to subscribe my channel, The Travel All Exhaler. I have uploaded many uh, travel blogs as well as marine knowledge videos. So you will definitely like it. Just check out all my videos. Also. Uh, I've put one Panama Canal transit video, so do check out. And if you like it, do subscribe, give me comments. Let's check out the engine, how to start the engine, and other things on the live boat. So let's go. So, guys, this is the engine control for the live boat, and this is the lever to put the live boat ahead or astern. This is the steering wheel. These are the buttons to start and stop the live boat engine. This is the search light here. This one compass here. So guys, in every live boat inside, uh, we will have uh, cylinders, air cylinders, which will provide you air in case there is a toxic gas release and we have to evacuate and go away from the ship. And it will provide at least for 10 minutes the air supply to all the crew inside. And uh, we also have sprinkler system uh, inside the live boat. Every live boat will having a sprinkler system, a valve, so that in case of fire, the fire will not catch the live boat, it will not destroy the live boat, the sprinkler will start and because of the water cushion, water uh, like water uh, force, it will create a curtain around the uh, live boat, a water curtain and the live boat will not catch fire. So guys, you can see here one valve, this is the valve for the sprinkler, this is the uh, connection for the battery and uh, battery switch and let me show you connection for the air bottles you can see this valves here this is for the air supply we need to open this and we need to open the cylinder valves and this is for the air supply and this is this one guys is the offload and onload system to release the live board so to start the live board we need to first put the battery switch in the on position just check out this battery switch now it is in the off position we need to put it either in the one or two or both and after this we need to come here and there are two switch start and stop so just you need to press the start and the live board will start and this is the steering for the live board and this is the lever to put the live board ahead or astern and if you want to lower the live board from inside so this is the connection, this is the onload and offload release unit. So guys what is offload and onload release system? So whenever we are boarding inside the live board, we need to release the hooks which I have already shown you outside. Two hooks are connected to the live board so we need to release them. So uh, this system, uh, onload and offload release we use for the removing the hook only. So we have two types of system, one is onload, one is offload. So, Offload is like a normal procedure. Uh, when we put the uh, live boat to the water level, there is no pressure, uh, there is no weight in the live boat because of the buoyancy of water. And that time, remove this pin, these two, and put this uh, lever down, and put this lever also down. So the two hooks outside will simultaneously release. But guys, in case of emergency, like too much swell or uh, when we are lowering the live board, something got stuck and live board is not coming uh, to the water level. So there is a load on the live board. The hooks are already in the load because there is no buoyancy, no water, no buoyancy. So in that case, we use on-load release system. 
So the download relay system we use only in case of emergency guys. So in normal, uh, in normal lowering, you should not use the onload release. You should only use the offload. So for onload release, we have to remove this box. First, we need to remove this box, and there is a safety pin inside. You can see the safety pin. You have to remove this safety pin. After removing this safety pin, you have to same. You have to remove this uh, two pins. You have to unlock this. This one. Uh, for this purpose only, we are removing the safety pin, and by manually we are pushing this pin up so that this thing will come down and this rod will get free. And after doing this, see here the procedure is also written A and B. We need to remove this pin again and same. We need to lower both, and the live board will uh, lower by on load release. So guys, I have explained you the on load. Uh, release system of the live boat and this on load release system we use only in case of emergency. I'm going to show you some live boat equipments and some other things inside the live boat. So guys, let's go and check out the equipments inside the live boat. There are some equipment, the bucket is here with the rope. There are some ropes here, extinguishers, this light, such light, and we have food ration also for 30 days. See. These are the water, food ration. Uh, this is the FPD, and we have some ration inside here also. And this is one hatchet. This is the this is a this is a pump to remove to removing water bilge manual pump. And in case the steering is failed. This is the this is for the manual steering. In case the steering is failed somehow, then we need to steer the live boat by manually. So we need to put this bar. This is the bar for emergency steering. Put here, and you can operate it like this, like a normal boat. So this is for the emergency steering. And these these are some instructions given here how to operate the live boat and this release unit and all the things. So in every ship you will get this instructions. See, live boat engine starting procedure. This is, this is the starting procedure here. So guys, inside this, the inside this box, the main engine is here, the live boat engine. And uh, see, this is the tiller. And this I have already shown you the equipments of live boat. We have many equipments. You can check out the. LSA code. It will give you a list of all the equipment which is mandatory inside the live boat. So, guys, I think I have explained you inside the live boat and how to operate, how to lower the live boat, how to start the engine, and other things. And also, I have uh, shown you some equipments inside the live boat. Uh, you need to, for details, you need to check out the LSA code. Uh, it will give you the exact how much quantity of equipment we have to uh, be inside the live boat so those are the mandatory things so every third mates have to uh, check it carefully and maintain the inventory so if something is missing then surely the port state control or waiting inspector will catch you and they can retain also the ship so this live boat is very important guys so uh, do watch this video completely this is a very important video uh, live boat for third mates and all the other guys the ship everybody should know how to lower the live boat uh, the side lowering live boat because this is the only thing in case of emergency will save our life so our life is depend on this live boat so guys now we'll go and check out the life raft we have two life raft i've already explained you so let's go guys so guys we are now in the life raft station of the ship Beside me, these are the life rafts here. We have four life rafts and one more life raft, six person life raft in the forward part of the ship. So every ship having a length more than 100 meters should have a life raft in the forward part also. And uh, let me show you some details of the life raft. See this is the life raft on board we have, 16 person. Since we have side lowering life boat, so we don't have David launching life raft. In case 
you are a, a ship having uh, free fall lifeboat, you will be having one debit launching life raft also. So these are the 16% capacity uh, life raft we have. These are the this this thing is called HRU aerostatic release unit. In case of emergency, like if ship is sinking, so this lashing, these are lashing. This HRU main purpose is to remove the lashing automatically. So because of water pressure, if the ship is sinking and nobody is having time to open this lashing, so it will just cut automatically when there is a pressure acting here. When the ship is uh, sink to like four meter below the water level, the water pressure will act here in the HRU and it will automatically release. So as a third mid, you need to check this HRU expiry date and you need to check whether this is properly rigged or not because if it is not properly rigged it will not work and it will be a big uh, like in case of emergency it will be a big issue not issue you will die if you don't check it properly and in case of emergency this life raft didn't get inflated and this is very important guys all the port authority wetting inspector especially PSC will definitely check this one and if they found something wrong they will definitely detain you so guys this, this is very important so to launch this life raft this is the operating launching procedure also uh, we have one uh, sticker here instruction uh, like chart here in every uh, ship you will find something like this in your master station the procedure life raft launching procedure so so these are the manual launching life raft we don't have David launching so in case you have enough time to launch it manually so what you have to do you have to come here and remove this lashing first see this is the lashing you have to remove this lashing this lashing will get removed after this this is a painter here you can see one painter you have to uh, remove this painter and tie it somewhere some strong point like you have to remove this painter this painter you have to remove and this rope you have to tie it to a strong point just tie it here just tie it here somewhere after this you have to clear the area like this one this need to clear this thing need to be clear see the instruction is also given here everything is here so if you are in any doubt anywhere in case of emergency you just refer to this instructions and if wedding inspector also ask you and you forget in front of you you can just read it, read this one and follow the instruction. So he will be satisfied. But everybody should know how to operate the life raft and life boat. That is mandatory thing and this is only for your, your safety, your life. So your life is on your hand only. Nobody can save you if you don't know how to operate these things. And you are not interested to learn also. So after uh, removing the lashing and everything, two people need to throw this. Uh, this is a heavy life raft, so we need to throw this life raft overboard. And when the uh, when this life raft is in the water, it will start in, uh, it will start floating because this is a plastic cover. You need to remove this uh, painter fully. I think 30 meter painter is here, and you need to give a jerk, something like this jerk. And there is a cylinder inside which will open and. CO2 cylinder is inside it will inflate the life raft inside we have a life raft here inside you can see this is the life raft which will get inflated because of the cylinder so when you give a jerk like this uh, it will start the cylinder and it will inflate the life raft so guys this is the process of uh, operating a life raft lowering a life raft manually now in case of emergency like you don't have any time and ship is sinking very fast like two minutes ship will going to sink so nobody will be having time that time to open the lashing and all the things because everybody will be in a panic situation so in that case uh, this uh, HRU will operate let me show you so when there is a no time nobody is having time nobody has removed the uh, this lashing and all because of too less time and everybody in the panic in that situation when, life, uh, when the ship is started sinking and when ship will get sink uh, 4 meter below water level the pressure will act in the HRU because we have, remo we have not removed this 
uh, lashing so it will not float uh, by own by its own so pressure will act here in the hru hammer hru and when there is a four, when uh, the enough pressure will act uh, in the uh, this hru 4 meters water pressure it will cut this lashing inside there is a blade and mechanism to cut this lashing so when the lashing get cut this lashing will automatically go off and because of the buoyancy of this uh, life raft it will come up and as our as the uh, our ship uh, get sink inside as our ship get sink inside and come to 30 meters the because of buoyancy uh, the pressure will act on the uh, the spinter and it will get automatically inflate because of the pressure and it will start inflating and the life raft will open automatically and that time everybody should uh, like enter inside the life raft and just uh, get away from the ship so guys this is the process not process this is the automatic process of inflating life raft so in that in the emergency case the uh, life raft will automatically get inflated no need to uh, do anything it will get automatically inflated i think i have shown you all the things in the life boat a small video about the life boat as well as the life raft so guys if you like this video do consider to subscribe my channel the drop loading sailor i have uh, uploaded many videos many uh, marine knowledge videos as well as travel vlogs in the uh, in my channel i am also a travel blogger so every time i go out somewhere i upload a blog so that you can watch it and enjoy it if you have any doubt just write it down in the comment section and uh, i'll surely reply so if you have any suggestions like what kind of videos you want me to upload i'll surely check it out and i'll make uh, those videos so guys this side second mate here signing off right now and i'll see you soon with a new video new exciting video so let's go